Now talk about sports car. Probably the best sports car you can buy. This is the 2022 22 registration Porsche 911 992 Turbo S in the very desirable color called the DT Silver with a two-tone leather, which is the black and the border all red. But the spec on it is fabulous, but it's the numbers. It's a Turbo S. It doesn't get any better. You're talking 650 brake horsepower, but check this out. Not a 60 in 2.7 seconds. It's ridiculous how quick this car is, but it's the way it looks, the styling, the specification. It's a brand new model car. It's fabulous. There is so much about this car. I won't even be able to cover half of it, but I will try and touch on some of it. It's brilliant, the shape, the lines, everything. Let's start from the front, what do we have? The 992 obviously is a new model, so everything's a bit more smoother, the more upgraded headlights. Now this one has the PDLS, which is the Porsche Dynamic Lighting System, which is the full LED matrix system. It's beautiful, the detailing within the casing, all the little sections of the lights, and you get the x sight vision there as well. You've got front rear parking sensors, you've got the LED daytime running lights. This car then has the exclusive exterior package on it, finished in high gloss black. So you'll see the corner sections around the air vents here. This is all high gloss black, not standard, all an extra. Let me just mention another massive extra done by Porsche themselves. This car has had a full body PPF, not just the nose comb or the bonnet up to the air pillow, the full thing. Costing £4,800, I have a receipt for that. That's amazing. That means you can drive this car, utilise it, and not be scared that it's going to get chipped because it's fully covered in a, a clear PPF. Obviously, it's a 911 Turbo S. So you have that lovely, more refined front bumper. Super aggressive, clearly. But then you have the beautiful wheels. These are the Turbo S wheels, which are 20 inch in size on the front and 21 inch on the back, so they're staggered wheels. The back ones are slightly wider as the back end gets out wider. But you have the same flare on the front shoulders like the back shoulders. You have the little repeaters on the side there. See this little section here, what you call the ring mirror base? That's an extra cost of just under 400 pounds to get it finished in high gloss black. The 911 Turbo S finished in black and then going back to the exclusive exterior package finished in black as well. You have the flush door handles, I've unlocked it to get in and out the car, but when it's locked, it's nice and flush, unlocked, pops out enough to get your hands in there and to open the door. But then let's move on to the glass roof. This has a full tilt and sliding sunroof on it, which is amazing. The front section and the back section is black, so when you're looking from the front, it has that lovely black stripe down the middle, but when you press the button, that slides all the way back, letting air in, feels nice and airy, just a good feature to have. The sun protection glass, and then you have the matte finish around the window surrounds. Again, the exclusive exterior package, package gives you the black surrounding around the air vent and the look of that interior. Another extra is this car has a light package. So if you look at the center console there and the door cards, and in the back, you'll see the ambient lighting. Nice little touch. Sometimes a lot of the customers forget to pick that option. I think it makes a difference. If you look at the back of the headrest, you'll also notice you've got the Turbo S absolutely stamped bang in the middle there, which looks beautiful. The black on the top of the dash, the black on top of the door cards, with the red detailing on the stitching is beautiful. Touchscreen media system, obviously you've got a PDK gearbox with eight speeds, and then at 2,800 pounds optional cost, this car has the high-end Burmeister sound system. The extended lever continues on the door cards with a perforated lever there, which looks really good. Nice material and sort of finish to the grab handles. Turbo S entry kick plates. The car's done 1,200 miles. On a 2022-22 registration, going live at the best price, with a cracking specification. Another big thing on this car is it does have the sports exhaust, with the sports exhaust tips finished in silver, because you can choose your colours. The car does exactly what it's supposed to do, plus a lot more. So if I just open that sunroof, you'll see it slide all the way back. Another big thing on this one is you've got the GT heated steering wheel finished in leather, which is a nice little touch, because it feels nice and warm, but it feels sporty like you deserve it to be. You've also got the Alcantara roof lining. The car is a combination of just pure class, and I mean that. Every part of this car is just brilliant. If you know your Porsches and you enjoy your Porsches, it doesn't get much better than that. We haven't had a Turbo S Cooper like this for a very long time, and I can guarantee you this one isn't gonna hang around long at all. So, going around the back, the first thing you'll notice, bang in the middle, is the model designation badge in there. This is done in black, because normally it's not. You have the exclusive rear lighting system, that full strip LED, and then there's your sports exhaust tailpipes covered with that lovely, again, exclusive package, which is high gloss black. Rear parking sensors, this spoiler lifts up, as you very well know. Sun protection glass again. Isn't it stunning? It is. 
that, that's the answer. It's beautiful. If you like your Porsches, you know what I mean. It's, it just doesn't get any better. It is mega. Going on to comfort, you've got the adaptive sport plus seats here, which is the 18 way electric with memory package as well. And that's a nice thing. It's all good and well having sports car, but if you can't get in it and just get comfortable and really get snug and enjoy it, then really you're not gonna keep that car for long. A car like this with all the little extras that you need, you'll drive it, get out of it after 200 miles and go, you know what? I'm ready to get back in again and do the same again. And that's the type of car that it is. You've then got digital dash, digital dash, where you can see the navigation, you can configure that, no problem. The red detailing on the stitching that I've mentioned. And then you have your different drive modes. So you've got sport, sport plus, individual, wet, normal, pick what you want. When you fire it up, the sound is unique to itself. It's a Porsche 911 turbo, so it... If you haven't driven one and you're seriously considering one, you need to drive one because the smile off your face just won't come off. It's one of them types of cars. You get in it, you put your foot down, you take a few twists and turns and you think, this is me. Nothing gets better for a sports car. It's breathtakingly, it's unbelievable. Obviously cruise control, the heated steering wheel button is just here, bang in the middle. Obviously the Porsche crest just there. Put it in reverse and the reversing camera comes up. The sports chrono clock's just there. The heated seat is just here. The different settings up there. Genuinely, I love it. I wouldn't change a thing about it. I love the GT Silver. I love the Bordeaux red leather with a black two-tone on the dashboard, the wheels, the lighting system, the seats, the exhaust. But most importantly for me, on this GT Silver, the exclusive exterior package in high gloss black makes all the difference. Just look at what's available and you'll see that this is not only the best value, but it is the best color combination with a cracking specification with them numbers, 650 brake horsepower and not a 62.7 seconds. It's like, wow. My name's Joe, my name and number's on the bottom of the screen. Give me a call, drop me a text or a WhatsApp. Thanks for watching, bye bye now.